Many men with Peyronie's disease read about pentoxifiline online or are recommended to take it by the provider to treat Peyronie's disease. The big question is, is there really any benefit to taking it? Well, going through some of the history and background may help in this case. Pentoxifiline is a drug which has not been evaluated by the FDA, and as such, we really don't have any great safety or efficacy data. The way in which pentoxifiline works is not fully known, although it is thought to reduce scarring and inflammation. In a study by Tom Liu, Alan Schindel, and others, uh, investigators found that pentoxifiline reduced the amount of scar tissue, or collagen, which occurred in a petri dish which had uh, cells similar to those uh, which are found with Peyronie's disease. Now, this was a very interesting finding. Um, however, there are literally thousands of studies like this that end up looking great in a petri dish, but when you actually try it in humans, it ends up showing it ultimately doesn't work. Uh, the biggest study which uh, really led many to start using the drug included a total of 228 men who were randomized to receive either Pentox 400 milligrams twice daily uh, or placebo for six months. Results showed significant improvements in penile curvature, plaque size, and erectile function in the Pentox group uh, compared to a worsening in the control group. Now, this was very exciting and many Peyronie's providers began recommending Pentox routinely in men with Peyronie's disease. Uh, however, the main author of the study was later accused of data falsification, and this study and many more of his studies were later retracted from literature altogether. Now, without that study, there are basically no other studies which have evaluated Pentox in a rigorous manner. So without any data on its efficacy, we usually don't outright recommend this drug, uh, and we're also not sure what the risks in taking the drug or what the optimal dose uh, should be. Uh, further, in my clinical experience, I haven't found that it makes much of a difference at all uh, for men who've taken it. Uh, now, all that said, if a patient would like to take it, we're happy to prescribe it so long as they recognize the potential risks and benefits uh, and realize that they really aren't well known. Uh, we hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other recommendations for videos that you'd like us to produce, please feel free to reach out anytime at email at mfp.clinic. Thank you.